If you're studying for the INBDE, I highly recommend INBDE Bootcamp, an all-in-one study resource that will help you pass your exam. Use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here and welcome back to Mental Dental. This is episode two of Decoding Dental Board Questions, a series where I break down tricky board style questions step by step for you. So today we're tackling a classic oral pathology topic, which is white lesions. This is actually one of the most common question areas. And if you understand the key distinctions and common tricks that they use, you'll be ready to crush these questions on exam day. So let's jump in to the first practice question. A 25 year old presents with a diffuse white lesion on the buccal mucosa. When you use a tongue blade, the lesion can be easily wiped away, leaving behind an erythematous surface. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Leukoplakia, lichen planus, pseudomembranous candidiasis, or oral hairy leukoplakia? Okay, so let's break down this question. The key phrase here is can be easily wiped away. That's the first thing I want you to look for. Regarding leukoplakia and lichen planus, neither of these scrape off. Oral hairy leukoplakia doesn't scrape off either. Pseudomembranous candidiasis, or thrush, is the classic white lesion that does scrape off with a gauze pad or a brush, leaving an erythematous or red base behind. For a quick high yield fact, other lesions that can sometimes be scraped off include thermal or chemical burns and mucosal reactions to things like sodium lauryl sulfate or SLS in toothpaste. So the answer to this first question is C. Let's try another one. A 48 year old male smoker presents with a persistent white patch on the lateral tongue. The lesion cannot be wiped off. Biopsy shows hyperkeratosis with epithelial dysplasia. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Lichen planus, leukoplakia, nicotinic stomatitis, or pseudomembranous candidiasis? At this point, you're probably sensing a theme here where a lot of these questions that you'll see on the board exam are asking you for the most likely diagnosis. And once again, all the answer choices are white lesions, so we have to figure out which one best matches the description being given in the question stem. So if we work through this one systematically, step by step, the first thing again I want you to look for is that the lesion cannot be scraped off, which rules out candidiasis. Nicotinic stomatitis also occurs on the palate, not the lateral tongue, so that doesn't fit great either. And lichen planus usually shows bilateral wickham striae, which are these thin white lines. And that's not mentioned in the question stem either. Leukoplakia, which we're left with, is defined as a persistent white lesion of unknown cause that cannot be wiped off. The biopsy report of hyperkeratosis with epithelial dysplasia fits perfectly as well, since leukoplakia carries malignant potential, meaning the potential to transform into a cancer. So the answer to this second question is B. And then let's try one more. So here is the third practice question of the video. A 34 year old patient with a history of HIV presents with a white lesion on the lateral border of the tongue. The lesion cannot be scraped off and shows a corrugated surface and shows a corrugated surface. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Lichen planus, oral hairy leukoplakia, just plain leukoplakia, or pseudomembranous candidiasis? So based on the question stem, this is a classic HIV associated lesion. And the key clues are the location, it's on the lateral tongue, the surface, it's corrugated, which means it's a rough surface with grooves and ridges, and it cannot be scraped off. 
All of those things point to oral hairy leukoplakia, which is specifically caused by reactivation of the Epstein-Barr virus, often in the setting of immunosuppression, like with HIV. So the answer to this question is B. So now that we've gone through a few practice questions on this topic, I wanna share some key takeaways for this topic area. For white lesions in oral pathology, always start with can it be scraped off or not? And that question alone will rule in or rule out candidiasis and chemical or thermal burns and other similar lesions. And then also keep in mind some of the high yield facts that have to do with the white lesion conditions that the board exams love so much. Those being leukoplakia, which is a persistent, non-scrapable white lesion with malignant potential. And if it lasts for two weeks or more, always biopsy it. Lichen planus shows bilateral Wickham striae, those thin white lacy lines. And oral hairy leukoplakia is an HIV-associated lesion on the lateral tongue caused by EBV or Epstein-Barr virus. If you keep all of these facts in mind, white lesion questions will become a breeze for you. And that's my hope with these types of videos on decoding dental board questions. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel, Mental Dental, so you don't miss any future videos on topics like these and much more. By the way, do comment with a question that you want me to review or any topics that you find tricky. That way I know what to cover in a future video and we can unpack those board exam questions together. Until next time, God bless all of you and I'll see you in the next video.